Richmond, Virginia. Eight Virginia Commonwealth University students have been charged with hazing in a fraternity pledge's death from alcohol poisoning after a party earlier this year, officials said Friday. The eight men arrested Friday range in age from 19 to 22, police said. All are charged with unlawful hazing of a student and four are also charged with buying and giving alcohol to a minor. Seven were held without bond at the Richmond Justice Center. The eighth was arrested in Prince William County and released on bond. Three others who were indicted are expected to surrender in the coming days, police said. The university confirmed that all eight were students and all but one were enrolled this semester. The Student Code of Conduct allows for sanctions up to and including expulsion, the university said in a statement, but it can't share potential disciplinary information, if any, about specific students. The indictments come nearly seven months after 19-year-old Adam Oaks of Loudoun County died. The office of the chief medical examiner ruled that his death was caused by alcohol poisoning. Oaks had received a bid to the Delta Chi fraternity and attended a party where he would receive his big brother the night before his death. Oaks was told to drink a large bottle of whiskey and later passed out on a couch at an off-campus residence, his family said. He was found dead the next morning. Richmond Police, Campus Police and the University launched investigations. The chapter was suspended by the University and the Fraternity's National Headquarters and in June VCU expelled the fraternity. Last month, the University announced that it would ban alcohol at fraternity and sorority events, publish misconduct instances online and pause new member recruitment. On the same day, two investigations of University Greek life on campus were released, finding that there are concerns about hazing and binge drinking at the university and staff has struggled to address them. BCU continues to mourn the tragic death of Adam Oaks and is grateful to the Richmond Poli. The past seven months have been agonizing for our family.